Welcome to Getting Started with X-Ray Interpretation. My name is David Keegan. I'm an academic family doctor here at the University of Calgary. The objectives for today's session are, by the end of this session, you will be able to, one, describe how X-ray images are made, and two, describe how air, metal, bone, and tissue look on an X-ray. So for X-ray 101, the, the written term X hyphen ray is the same as X-ray, which is the same as rentgenogram or radiograph or plain film. These terms are synonymous and can be used interchangeably. You'll also hear some other terms of, of uh, diagnostic imaging. CAT scans or CT scans, computerized tomography, they are basically super fancy versions of X-ray. They use the same X-ray uh, technology, but they construct images and get the images in kind of different ways and construct different pictures. But the rules for how items such as bone, air, and metal appear on an x-ray are the same for CAT scans. You'll also hear about ultrasounds and MRIs. Those are completely different technologies that are unrelated to x-rays. So what we're talking about today apply to x-rays in general, and CAT scans as well will have some of those or all of those rules still apply. With an x-ray, a radiation source passes through a person and casts a shadow on a film. The shadows overlap each other and expand with distance. So if you keep those two things in mind, that will help you understand how x-ray images are formed. Unexposed film is white. So digital film, whether it's a, an old school hard copy film or a digital film using a digital x-ray machine, when it's unexposed and has received no x-ray beams, it's white. Fully exposed film turns black. So if your x-ray source, that red dot there on the left, sends x-ray beams to the film and there's nothing in the way, then the image when it's developed will be black. Something in the way of that x-ray beam makes a shadow. And for some things like metal, they block the x-rays completely. And so it'll be a white shadow. But, you know, virtually everything in the human body will let some degree of x-ray pass through, and the shadow will be some range of gray. There are different densities of shadow. So air allows full exposure, and therefore the film will be virtually black. And if it is complete air, like the air outside a human's body, so just to the left of their elbow, that x-ray film will be developed black because the x-ray is not being blocked in any way. Metal, on the other hand, blocks all exposure and therefore the metal shadow will be white. And the variety of density of shadows changes. So air is black, but maybe x-rays through the lungs, which are mostly filled with air, but there's a little bit of, you know, skin and muscle uh, in front and behind the lungs. It'll be a dark gray, and so on and so on, you know, muscle, fat, and blood will be middle gray shadows, up to bone, which will be almost white, because it's very dense, and then metal, which has complete density, and blocks, and has the white shadow. Shadows overlap. So if you have X in front of a film, it'll give you this picture on the bottom. You know, a white X, uh, let's say the X was metal, a white X on an otherwise black field. But if you have X in front of an O, which are both in front of the film, then the shadow will be overlapping. And so a single X-ray film doesn't tell you the relationship of where X is in regards to O. All you know is that in that one field of view, they lined up just right as the picture shows. Tissue types will also have overlapping shadows. And so one type of tissue that's less dense, the dark gray above, and then the shadow from a more dense tissue, when they overlap, as on the picture on the right, you'll see that their overlapping area has an even whiter shadow. And that's because the density of the more dense rectangle on the bottom, that shadow now gets impeded by the extra shadow from the additional rectangle on the top. And so the two of them together cr create a more dense shadow than either on their own. When you have things in tissue, such as surgical clips or air bubbles, 
they'll also have their own unique shadows. Surgical clips are made out of metal, so they will cast a very white shadow, just like what we talked about earlier. And so surgical clips in the, abdom in the abdomen will look something like this. You'll see the metal stand out obviously, and there's going to be a lot of different tissue around that will have a medium gray shadow. Air bubbles, because they're a pocket of air, and the pockets of air don't cast much shadow at all, those will stand out as well, and they'll be actually pretty sharp if the air bubbles are not moving. If they're moving uh, a little bit during the, the, the period of exposure of a film, then the air bubbles will have a bit of a blurry edge. And that's it for just getting started with x-ray interpretation. Thanks very much. Have a good day.